Hello, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my Tech Vault, and thank you for taking a little bit of your day out to watch my video. So today we're going to be talking about power supplies, in particular, power supply brands. Which one should you buy from? Which one should you get? And tips and tricks to you know get a good power supply because there's not really any you know video out or information out there about you know what brand's the best, what's the best brand for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go over what each one's good for um, and some of the important things to watch out for as well. So. We'll talk about credibility here. Um, I've got power supply in here, these suckers here, power supply in my main system, and I think like five or six systems that I built with EGA power supplies that are not currently here. So I, I, I know a little bit about you know what each brand does, just, just a small bit. So what I'm going to do today is just talk about and break it down. So first off, um, I'm going to start, start out with a big one. Um, when you're looking for a power supply and you see that lovely picture of the power supply, um, in the power supply, uh, either looks, you know, nice painted black or, you know, plastic dipped or something like that, um, you're, you're in the right direction. If your power supply and it looks like this, which is specifically why I have one that looks like this, if it's uh, still uh, aluminum, uh, still, you know, you can clearly see it's this lovely shade of aluminum that's not painted at all, um, if it weighs um, less than your phone, and um, if you look on the efficiency thing, and the efficiency says less than 80%, um, it's time for you to find a different power supply. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, if, it would surprise you in the fact that um, I actually do computer repair, um, you know, build computers for people. And I had a buddy that came in here, and he was getting a new graphics card. And you know we were picking out stuff, and this is what came out of the system. This was a pre-built. Uh, I'm not going to name the brand because I've already given them enough shame. Um, but I've named the. Basically, this is what kind of came out of there, and it's dangerous to put your hardware to. So this is why I say don't buy one of the things that looks like this because well you just don't want to put your hardware on that. Okay, let's now that that's out of the way, just just to because that's really important. That's if the, you know. The important thing is to go in the front. That's what's really important. Don't don't put that in your system. Um, so here we got uh, a couple brands. I believe I have EVGA. Um, I don't even know this company, but this is a pretty solid power supply. So I'll, I'll probably talk about that one. Antec. Um, be quiet. And I have EVGA in the back. So power supplies. Start starting off with, of course, be quiet. So these guys are uh, quite an interesting um, group of people. Um, and this power supply in particular is a good example. Um, so pros of, you know, this power supply are be quiet. Um, be quiet obviously in the name says be quiet. And, you know, from my testing and my reviews and stuff, it's a very quiet power supply. Almost inaudible. If you have to put your ear like right next to it to actually hear anything, and it's just a little rattle. So honestly, it's really, really, really quiet and you will not hear it in a normal situation. Now, you know, there's other companies, EVGA in particular, I don't know if all their power supplies or just um, their high-end power supplies do, uh, do it. Basically, the fan turns off unless it's under load, so pretty much when it's idling, it's dead quiet as well. Um, so, technically, you know, both Be Quiet and uh, EVGA both have really quiet power supplies. Um, just depends on how you look at it. Of course, EVGA is kind of cranks up a little bit, so you'll get some noise when, of course, you're going about and building a system with it. So... Um, be, Qu be Quiet, though, has some weird connectors that are not kind of standard. There's, like, a set, set of standard connectors for all power supplies, and Be Quiet has kind of been off. Now, I've, in some of the newer stuff, I've also been seeing that they've been using the new modern connectors. I'll call them modern. Um, but they're a little bit off. Um, so EVGA is a solid brand, and Be Quiet is as well. Um, so I don't have the power supply on me, but Thermaltake also makes power supplies. Um, that's a good brand. And there's a long list of other, you know, companies that make good power supplies. I'm not saying, uh, you know, if it's not named on this video, you're you're on the wrong track. Um, but what really does matter, of course, the rating, you know, having at least 80 um, plus, 80 um, efficiency rating. Um, gold, silver, um, platinum, uh, bronze, all these are good stuff to um, be getting power supplies for. Um, I believe this one was rated, yeah, this is an 80 plus power supply as well. This one I've actually never seen this brand before until I got it at like a yard sale. Um, but it's, you know, of course that nice shade of um, black paint, or actually this is silverish black paint, 60 watts, and of course it's 80 plus rated, which means that of course it's uh, 
they took the time out to do that, they'll probably have taken out the time uh, to make sure it doesn't fry your stuff. And also, it doesn't weigh um, <laughs> less than my phone. Um, and then, of course, this sucker I'm leaving over here um, because this guy weighs a lot. Um, but this is Antex Power Supplies, and this is, I believe, eight years old, and this is by far my most powerful power supply that I have. Um, and I trust it because Antex is also a good brand, and um, it weighs a substantial, substantial bit. Um, but but basically, some of the notable ones I wanted to talk about, of course, is EVGA. They guys are they have the you know shut off um, the rotation um, under light loads, and then it ramps up when you know you're gaming or something. Um, you've got EVGA or Be Quiet that just is kind of quiet all along. Um, another notable one, as I said, that I don't have it on me. I built with it before though. Is Thermaltake. They have the RGB effects. Um, some of the things to note about that, though, um, in particular, Thermaltake advertises the RGB, um, yet you can't get it to sync up with your system. Um, there's a lot of problems with some of the lower end stuff not supporting um, CPUs uh, or motherboards because the CPU they don't have enough CPU, CPU power connectors. Um, and I've actually ran into that before, so I'm just you know saying right off the bat that's what I've ran into. Um, so you might as well. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. I ran into a couple of issues, and I also noticed that Thermaltake's power supplies tend to be a little lower quality, and then they just add an RGB fan in there to attract people to buy it. Um, their power supplies are a little bit lower. Obviously, you're not going to fry your system or anything buying one of those power supplies, but for me, if I'm going to buy a uh, power supply that's got RGB in it, I want it to at least sync up with stuff. Um, also, their higher-end power supplies don't also support the higher-end um, CPU um, power connectors. So when you get a really high-end power supply, like 650 watt, uh, or 750 watt, or even 850 watt, and you don't have like the support for the two 8-pin connectors um, on the um, motherboard, it's really, really frustrating. And you have to send it back and get a different power supply. EVGA is pretty good. Um, right at 700 watts, um, they add the uh, second 8-pin connector power or it can 8-pin motherboard connector, um, so EVGA is a really good one. Um, Be Quiet, I haven't looked into, so I don't know, but I do know that EVGA is really good about having uh, a consistent, um, or that, that being very consistent across all their stuff. Um, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, of course, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully it was very informational. If you have any questions, I got a Discord server in the description. Um, it's my tech Discord. You can ask questions there. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a look at stuff um, within reason. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Check out the channel for other cool tech related news, reviews, builds, anything pretty much computer-related. So, thank you. Goodbye.